so anyway, we got conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction basically is uh, technically a heat transfer through the interaction of atoms and molecules, basically solids, and also in terms of liquids, like through uh, through uh, boundary layers. But most of that through liquids is co covered under convection, um, mixing a motion of, uh, of portions of a fluid. So that's really fluids. Conduction is really solids, right? And then radiation, again, radiation, electromagnetic radiation based on the temperatures. So if you look at the basic heat transfer equations, uh, you have uh, Q dot Q, heat transfer rate, big Q, little Q, what begins with Q? BTUs per hour or watts, a little Q is heat transfer rate per unit area. And you can always tell by the, by the, uh, um, the units, okay? And particularly when you take the exam, make sure you pay attention in terms of what they're asking you for, all right? Uh, typically, it'll say, you know, get the, give the answer in the heat, uh, heat transfer rate BTUs per hour or something like that. They don't do each each of the four um, solutions uh, with the with the units in it. So be careful on that. that that's that could be a hang up. So make sure you got heat transfer rate versus heat transfer rate per unit area. Um, so in conduction, basically, you have again, you have your heat transfer rate okay, times your area, um, and that's typically that's typically surface area, not cross sectional area, right? Cross-sectional area, you get it to involve the convection and some radiation, that type of thing. But there's always some type of delta T. Right? Then with convection, so you have thermal conductivity, and then with convection, like for instance, conduction on a pipe would be the, circumfer the uh, surface of the pipe itself, as opposed to the cross-section of the pipe. Uh, for convection, basically you have HA, H is the convective heat transfer coefficient. And that's the thing about those correlation equations. The whole emphasis in terms of convection with these correlation equations is you do these, uh, you know, one certain equation based on a Reynolds number, Grashoff number, and I'll explain all those to you. And the real, the real challenge in the convection is to find that H value um, to do the calculation. Once you get that, uh, getting the area and getting the temperature differential is pretty, pretty straightforward. Now, I think with radiation, you have it, what they call the emissivity. Um, you know, think of a you know a black box, a black uh, shiny surface has low emissivity. You know, black but as that gets uh, gets uh, darker, it gets the high emissivity goes up. There's some num numbers in there uh, in your handbook, um, and then you have what they call the Stefan Boltzmann constant, which is uh, part and parcel to the equation. There's a SI one and there's a US unit one, and we'll do uh, we'll do some problems on that. The thing about that is um, <clears throat> what's unique with the radiation is what they call the shape factors for radiation and I'll explain that to you. The best way to think about that is if you had, let's say you had a sphere, a hot sphere, okay, and it's enclosed in another sphere, all right. So the, rate, the shape factors have to do is how much radiation is coming off one body to the next, all right. Uh, very disappointed in the NCSS handbook because they don't they don't list them in there. Um, we'll go through some of them um, uh, but don't be afraid. I mean, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to put the uh, fear of the lion in you or anything like that. It's just that um, I wish they did, just they did a little bit better, better job on the radiation side of it. But we'll get through it. It's, those, those typical problems aren't that much.